is a cybersecurity degree, undergraduate cybersecurity degree, worth the time, the financial, uh, even the consideration? I'm here to answer that today, and I'm here to give you my insights and my perspectives. Hello everyone, my name is Grant. I'm a current student down here at Southeast Missouri State in Cape Girardeau, Missouri. And today I'm going to weigh in what I think a, a pursuable career path is if you're trying to get a career in cybersecurity. A disclaimer here, uh, there's no concrete path or concrete way you're going to be able to get a career in cybersecurity. Uh, I'm not going to tell you that you have to get this certification and this degree and then you'll be successful. Now, don't be wrong, there's certain areas, certain pathways that are going to be better for you. Maybe you're going to get more knowledge or more job offers, but in a way, you don't necessarily have to follow the certain advice I'm giving you. But I'm just weighing in my insights as a student here uh, who is right now currently uh, completing an undergraduate program in cybersecurity. So the answer to this question is it depends. And uh, what I mean by that is it just depends on the situation you are currently in right now. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and tell you three different scenarios, I guess you could say, uh, that you probably are in. Number one is, are you a s individual who does not have a degree, a college degree, an accredited college degree, uh, or has no formal qualifications, uh, maybe besides maybe a high school diploma or a GED? And if you are one of those individuals, one of those students who's maybe uh, in high school or is considering uh, taking up a career and you have no former college degree, I would go ahead and say, yes, pursue a degree in this in cybersecurity if you uh, do not have a degree. Now, that being said, find a university that is accredited, right? So you don't want to find a university that's just trying to push out a whole bunch of curriculums of cybersecurity and they're one year old and they have no idea what they're doing. You want to find one that's been around for maybe six or seven years um, since maybe 2010, 2011. Not, not, not to say that you have to do this, but uh, you want to really find one that is going to cater towards the needs and interests that you have. So number two is you're thinking about making a tr career transition. And if so, the question I ask you is, do you have a degree? Do you have a college degree of some sort? Uh, it could be business, it could be anything really. And if you do, I would say you do not need a college degree undergraduate in cybersecurity. And there's two paths that you can take if you wanted to uh, not pursue an undergraduate degree. You can either go for a master's in cybersecurity or you can pursue IT certifications. Um, it's up to you which way you want to go. I wouldn't necessarily say one is better than the other. What I would say is that IT certifications are probably going to be a lot cheaper. And honestly, they're going to be probably a little bit more updated and at least a little bit more niche down than a master's in cybersecurity. And so the reason why I say that is because, first off, you already have a college degree. So you don't necessarily need a another degree. Uh, you could get one. It depends, I guess, on how outdated it is. But honestly, a degree shows you have a degree. You completed something to its entirety and that you've done something and that you're, you're done. Uh, and if so, you don't really need a degree. You can just go get your certifications or you can go get your master's. I would say those are going to be better than just getting a four-year undergraduate degree. The third scenario is you maybe have some experience in IT. Uh, maybe you are in a certain area right now that you really don't like, but you still like IT as, a, as in general, and you want to make this career change. And maybe you're considering a degree. Um, maybe you don't have a degree. I don't necessarily know. But I would say if you're in the IT world right now and you have experience, you do not need a degree. What I would say is go get your IT security specific certifications and those would totally cater, triumph anything uh, degree-wise. I would say that if you can have experience in IT certifications, you would definitely win that one, and uh, you would definitely be considered a really a qualified candidate. So those are the three scenarios. To recap, uh, if you're not a student and you have no college degree, uh, I would say go get your cybersecurity degree from an accredited university. If you're trying to make a career change, I would say go get your IT certifications or go pursue a master's program if that's something that's interesting you, uh, if that interests you. And number three, if you are in the IT world right now and you're trying to make this transition into security specifically, IT certifications are probably the way to go. 
So thank you guys for watching. I hope this answered the question. I know that you could say I'm really biased towards getting a degree in cybersecurity, but I am a student and I don't have any formal qualifications. And so I do need a degree. You know, I need something to back that up. Uh, and if you're looking just to get more information on where you can, you know, get a degree or what a career, an entry level career in cybersecurity looks like, I ask that you go check out this post that I've linked here and it will just kind of get you a better understanding of the world of IT security and you know you're a student right now do you really want to get into this career as a whole so thank you for watching and have a good day